in this video tutorial we'll be talking about uh, different types of interactions between community in the ecosystem so in ecosystem we have community of different populations so we have organisms and with the organisms we have populations and in those populations we have a community so community interaction so what we are talking about the hierarchy in the hierarchy we start with <coughs> organisms multiple organisms together called a population many populations together called community so if we take such community different communities let's say community a community b community c different communities let's take two communities for easier understanding those communities have interactions between them now those interaction is very very important to survive in the environment to survive in the environmental conditions and stay together or <clears throat> uh, i mean during i mean for their evolution and all the other purpose we require them to stay together and commit so those community interactions there are different modes of community interactions available uh, in the ecosystem <clears throat> among them <clears throat> if you see among them the communities will be talking about two different types of such interactions one is competition and second thing is <clears throat> symbiosis competition and symbiosis these are the two types of community interactions that we can see in an environment so first is competition competition is direct involvement of communities to fight against each other so community a will fight against community b why would they fight why would they end up in fight due to uh, the availability of the resources that means say this community a and community b they require similar type of resource for example they require same type of food source or for their habitat so these are the things food source or habitat and these are the things that they require to survive and also different environmental factors that's not nothing for they are worried about but habitat and food are the major thing uh, where the competition arises between two community if two communities have same food source so both of them try to gather, gather that food so they'll end up in competition and every time if a competition is there there will be one winner and one loser every time in a competition so competition one will be superior and another one will be inferior the superior will win and the inferior will lose and in this case winning means in this case winning winning means the organism can live and that organism will continue to live in that environment through the evolution so that organism will be a part of the evolution in future but while in the other case <clears throat> the inferior type of organisms will lose and that organism will lose that means the extinction of that organism from the ecosystem right so in in this case winning means evolution forward positive losing extinction backward negative not backward but just negative this is one thing about competition and uh, what kind of competition we can see let's say competition between a lion and tiger competition between a tiger and a wolf for their food habit and their habitat that is a competition and in competition both of them <clears throat> are fighting for something common that is the idea now second thing is symbiosis and if you talk about symbiosis or symbiotic relationship between different communities there are three types of symbiotic relationships that are possible one is mutualism mutualism where the mutual understanding between the community uh, is organized second thing is commensalism and third is predation and parasitism and actually it's not about predation because predation is different i am going to talk about that later separately predation does not belong to symbiosis actually predation is completely separate competition predation and symbiosis 
So in symbiosis we have three mutualism, commensalism and parasitism. Now in mutualism, <coughs> what is mutualism? Mutual as the term says, two communities have a mutualistic understanding between themselves. So if I if I just erase this one and say in mutualism there are two things let us say species or community A and species B from community 2. <clears throat> so now in mutualism what happens both of them get benefits due to their interactions. In all these cases, these are interactions of the organisms in any sort of interaction. Mutualism means they have a positive interaction with each other. That means species A and species B, they follow a positive interaction. That means species A helps species B, B helps A. That is the idea. So I can put plus to both of them. That is mutualism. Example, there are plenty of examples out there. Very common example including human being is that we have gut micro, microflora, right? We have the microflora in our in our intestine. Those microflora like Escherichia coli or bifidobacteria, they tend to stay there and they live there, right? And once they live, they have, when they provide some important things to us and they get nutrient source from us. We get calcium and vitamin K from bacteria in our gut. They help us to prevent against such different kinds of infections. That is a positive side from both of us and we give the nutrition to them for them to live. Second thing is a commensalism. In commensalism, one particular type of organism get benefit while the other is unharmed. So I can write it here. For example, A gets benefit, B is unharmed. So we can put a zero. It's not harmed, unharmed, untouched. B does not get any extra advantage. A get the advantage, but B is unharmed. Example is that sometimes uh, some type of uh, arthropods live in our eye or eye, eye, eyelids uh, in these regions. This is one kind of example or <coughs> this is uh, one example of, uh, of this. So those, those organisms, those, those arthropods, they live there but they actually get benefits because the oil, because you know if you look at the eyelash. Uh, the hair is coming from the eyelash and at that point there are there is there is a home for that uh, specific type of arthropods to live there and like like uh, specific type I don't remember the exact name of that uh, organism now but there's a kind of arthropod very small tiny now they get uh, all the nutrient source from the oil that is deposited there so they get this they get these things and they nourish nourish themselves on the other hand the species B is not getting any benefit that is us, we are not getting any benefit from them, but they are not harming us. That means they are not uh, destroying our eye or anything like that. So this is a commensalism. Now the third kind, parasitism. Parasitism relies the fact that in this case, one organism is getting the benefit while other is harmed. So one species is getting benefit by harming other species. And the example is, you know, a lot kind of leeches. If you see the leeches, they will go here and they will attach to our skin, they will take blood from us. So they are getting the benefit, they are getting nutrients uh, through blood, but we are actually harmed due to this uh, blood sucking from us. That is a <coughs> case for parasitism as well as there are multiple examples like, you know, roundworms, hookworms that are present in our body. If they are present, they get some nutrient source from our body, but we are not getting anything from them. And actually we are harmed because they tend to bind with specific tissues of our body and they, they tend to get nutrients so they are getting some negative effect in our body. This is the example for parasitism. So these are all the examples mutualism, commensalism and parasitism and this is the typical structure of that. There are multiple more but these are the main three types of symbiosis. But one thing remains that is a predation. So what is predation? In predation, in predation what we talk about it is completely different. It does not belong to symbiosis though. I put it wrong here, but predation means while organism A feed on organism B, A feeds on B, so species relying on another species for food source. So just like say uh, a wolf is uh, eating rabbit, right, this is, so wolf A eating rabbit. So wolf population depends on the population of rabbit because if there is rabbit, wolf can eat them and can grow. So that is predation. 
So these are the different kinds of interactions that we can see. Uh, and uh, I hope this video helps you to understand the community interactions in ecosystem. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends in all social media accounts and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like this. So thank you, all the best.